before I even start, let me know what you think about our cage. Hmm? This is stronger than the. I think I showed you one before. This one I showed you before. But this is strong. It's made of metal. Yeah, and it's really firm. We catch the birds which are sick, like this one here is sick. So I just isolate it from the rest and then give it its water and its food there. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can notice, our compound is really bushy. And yeah, I'm just trying to work on it because we are risking snakes around. So you have to make sure that no grass is around and all that. It's been a while since I did this since we got engaged with the garden and some other garden somewhere else so it's high time to clear it up before it gets too messy so it's what i'm going to do today i'm a bit lazy i don't know if i'm really going to get the energy in between but i just have no option <laughs> so i think i'm going to start from this side but also the other side we have some okay let me get you this some trees here as well uh, as we we're planting the other one we also planted this and also this one and also the other one yeah but the other the other side is more of a forest we kind of uh, planted a forest there and then also here something new before i sh i didn't sh share with you I think I only remember sharing you clearing this place when I was digging it, but I don't remember sharing you what I planted here. So I planted groundnuts, as you can see. Yeah, and groundnuts is one of the most eaten foods in our place because that is where we make the peanut butter. So this is either peanut or groundnuts or ginuts, whatever you want to call it. And also I added in some cassava. I think you noticed they've actually started coming out already. Cassava here. And some of them know that they're, they're, they're just mixed up. Like I tried to space the cassava and fix the genus in between. So I think so that is it for this garden. And also the other side, remember what we did the um, the sweet potatoes? Yes, let's head over there. it is also here doing very well I think you notice it's already farm yeah so there is no any possibility of it dying again it's already doing well i think you notice i'll bring that all all i need to do is probably just clear up the, the extreme ends like that bush around yeah and also our vegetable here remember the ball i planted yes unfortunately this did not come out well uh the chicken disturbed it a lot it's uh, like the chicken ate the seeds from the day we planted this thing it took almost like a week without rain and in between the chicken was just all over the place and guess what i think you noticed it came out like scarce yet i put a lot of seeds i planted this up to the other end i think you noticed where i, I laid some bricks there and marked a boundary i don't even able to to see well there but yeah that is it though the seeds did not come out very well but trust me this we can eat at least for some days it's still far far much better than buying the the main target here is to avoid buying like as much as possible avoid buying so we plant some of these things just to cut cost here and the little that came out it's surely going to go far so let me just get her. i even know which side to start with, with the cleaning with the clearing because almost everywhere is bushy so i think we start from the the extreme end where I put a hole, that is where our dog house is. So it's that's it. Right. <laughs> This 
inside has a lot of stones and rocks. I don't know what, like small particles of rocks. Otherwise, I think this side is okay. I mean, well, I'm going to leave it for some time. Is it called wilting? I'm going to leave it to wilt, like for the sun to heat it and start to dry a bit before I can collect it so that it's going to be easy. So I think it's um, time I shift the other side. It is straight. Mm, but I got it. <laughs> and this one, uh, should I say it burns or something? Like it gives uh, some kind of irritations on the skin when you make it touch. I don't know if you have seen it. So this is what you always do. You trim the downer part and leave only the middle part to grow. Just to make it neat. <laughs> see how healthy i am i just sweat like so i i think this is the reason some some does it somebody told me i take a lot of sugar then i told the person like i don't think there is any much um effect or something because i sweat it out like a lot with my physical work so just as you can see yeah. I meanwhile let me know if you see any difference on this uh the lemon grass after cutting it and before cutting it tell me how you like this one hmm? because i feel this looks more neat and this is how i always do it meanwhile there's also something here how many of you know eggplants here here it is um i'm just trying to raise this the seeds actually just poured here there's, yeah I'm trying to leave this this there's also another one Some right there under the, the kitchen i mean the utensils rack yeah but i think this is a job well done for, for today <laughs> I've tried right so I do this in bits I don't do it like once the whole compound because the compound is large so you cannot do it like once when it's a machine so I do this in bits like this and yeah it keeps moving unfortunately it's a rainy season so by the time you finish this side and maybe go to the other side this side will be growing <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say just you just keep rotating around the compound like that but still we cannot dodge it that is life <laughs> guys in case you're new here make it a point to subscribe and let me know where you're watching me from please turn on your notification bell as well so that you don't miss any video from me and for those who don't know my name i am eunice <laughs> please allow me to finish this small part eh? you make me over talk <laughs>